Hey there, everybody. I'm here at, uh, how do you pronounce the name of this again? El Sueño Resort. El Sueño Resort. Yeah. And you're... Chela, you? I can't hear you. Chela. Chela? Yes. And here's this contact yes, information, which I'll put in the uh, comment section. Hold it there for a minute. I'm not going to lose it, and I will do a little walkthrough. And this is in uh, a little bit northern part of Dallin. Down a back road, it's a very small back road that comes down here. Seems quiet down here. I don't see a lot of Filipino houses, but there is a couple there. And they have a swimming pool. And the bottom end price on their rooms is uh, $1,800 1805 per night. Uh, they may also have monthly rates, but you'd have to contact them. They didn't know about monthly rates. And the cheaper rooms are on the second floor. The first floor has rooms that are open to 3,000 and maybe three, I think you see 35, I'm not sure. And they're just bigger. There are small rooms. Has a nice pool. And I just walked through one here. Took a quick look here before I went down to start the video. Not a very big room, but they have air con. All right, this room is about, I would say it's, maybe it's 10 by 12 or 8 by 12. It does not come with hot water. Although the 3,000, or the rooms that are 2,000 and change do come with hot water. But it has a CR, it comes with a bucket and a dipper, which frankly it's not that big a deal, showering in a bucket. It's not as bad, it's, it's a lot easier than you might think. And the water, first off, the water's not cold like the U.S. It's not coming out of the tap at 50 degrees. It's coming out of the tap at like 70 degrees. Because it's in a water tank that's outside and typically exposed to the sun. And there's the pool. And they've got a little cabana bar here. There's a space down here. I'll get down to that later. It's just a place to hang out. And then there's also, sorry about the fast swing, but there's a little hangout up here with a ceiling fan. Although, watch grabbing the railing when it's hot and sunny because it'll be smoking hot. But there's two sets of uh, stairs. On the other end, it's shady. <laughs> and the railing is not if you're having trouble with stairs. The other end, it's not. It's shaded when this one's sunny and vice versa. It's morning right now, uh, somewhere around uh, probably 8, 8.30. And here's the pool. No diving board. But I'd say that's at least four to five foot deep. And sh shallow here, maybe two foot. And here's the cabana bar. And there's plenty of little places here to hang out. Chill, have a beer. And you're actually very close to the Atlantic Dive Resort, which is maybe a quarter mile down the beach. And you got this closed off right now, but I want to walk down onto the beach here a little bit. Not a really good quality set of stairs, but functional. And there's this, there's a local next door, running up the debris. And it appears to be a pretty fancy house right over here. I'm gonna stay up here on this wall so I don't get sand in my sandals. Which I already did. I'll do a full pan. It's a lovely morning this morning. It's uh, probably around 80-ish. There's probably a dive boat, probably for that 
uh, resort. And that looks like another dive boat going. It looks like this place with people in it. Although typically the dive boats tend to look a little bit more like this, like with the catamaran pieces on the side. That one doesn't look like it has the catamaran stuff on it. I can't see. It's very hard for me to see the screen here. Ah, there he is, I think. Yeah. Alright. But there's actual beach beach. Now you go a little further south, the beach is a little bit whiter than it is up here. And Dumaguete, the beach is dark as well. A lot of the beaches are going to be dark black like that. I assume it's volcanic soil. But I don't know. Like I said, if you're looking for accuracy, <laughs> you tuned into the wrong channel. I just basically show you what I see. Uh, also, the rooms that were 35, or roughly 35, uh, all it was it was a little, little bit bigger and there was a second bed in it. It was like a family setup. And here's your bar. Oh, Glenn Levitt. Oh my goodness, the first I've seen a bottle here. Doesn't look like the scotch I buy, but it does. It is the right brand. That means I can finally get it here somewhere. I do like good scotch. I drink Tan Twy or Tan Twy. Tan Twy. I can't probably pronounce the name of it correctly. It's the most common uh, brand here, the local brand, and it's quite inexpensive. It's like three dollars a bottle. A little bit more than three dollars a bottle. One thing to be careful of, guys, you can drink yourself to death here. I know, it looks like they have a little air-conditioned space as well. Except the air conditioner's not turned on right now, there's nobody here. And karaoke if you want to do it. There's parking for some vehicles here, not a lot. But there's a lot across the street that they're working on that may be available for more parking if needed. If there's a space there, you can pretty much get away with using it. Do you book online? Yeah. Oh, you do book online? Yeah, booking.com. What's the name of the site to go to for booking? What's that? What's that? Booking.com today. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, El Sueño Resort. Sir. Es, Resort. Yes. Com? yes sir. Or, okay. Um, and you can find this place. And your name again was, I forget? Shella, sir. Shella? Yes. Shella. Very good meeting you. And you are the manager here? No, sir. Just a uh, waitress. Just a waitress. 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 Okay. Do you have a re Is there a restaurant in here to buy food? Yeah, we have. Do you cook to order or only when you're serving? I mean, you. Uh, we cook for orders. Yeah, cook to order. How? What's the uh, hours of your restaurant? What? Mm -hmm. uh, ten, we are open at 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. 10, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Well, there you go, guys. There's the El Sueño. I'm pronouncing El Sueño it right? Resort. I'm terrible at my pronunciation. El Sueño Resort. It is in Dowin, uh, it, which is from here to Dumaguete. Like to go up to the mall is probably about 10 miles on a bike, 15 to 20 minutes. Faster if you drive stupid. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to drive stupid. Oh my, oh yeah, I just noticed these are shells. Very old. They're encrusted shells. My goodness. That's actually from the ocean out there. They, the shell turned into a place for little microorganisms to hang out on, and that's all that's left. The shell is gone. Anyhow, there you go, guys. El Schwein, Schwein, I'm bad. El Schweno Resort in Dallin. And Dallin is south of Macong. If you look at the the larger roads that go around Dumaguete, the bottom corner of that is where Dallin is, the 7-Eleven. 
Uh, and from there to here is probably about five miles, and from there north to the mall is about five. And you'll find, trust me, better off further out than being in Dumaguete. It's not that long to go into Dumaguete. If you're a serious alcoholic and you want to hang out in Dumaguete, you're better off there because getting pedicabs to go far enough, you might have to get two different pedicabs or ride jeepneys, and you don't want to be driving drunk here. Trust me, it's dangerous enough to drive sober. So that's it, guys. Have a good one, and welcome to the building.